Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the classes in Valar. I want to cover all of their ideas and how they have envisioned the class system to be for the release of this game and throughout its pre-alpha, alpha, beta stages, etc. Um, today we're gonna focus on the classes that they have available right now. Not everything is ready, but everything is displayed, so I can talk about it and show their ideas basically to you guys. Valar is an MMORPG that's in pre-pre-alpha stage. So far, for the last three years, it has been worked on by two guys. One back-end dev, one front-end dev. That's it, period. Now, you can imagine that very many of these things, including menus and stuff like that, are gonna be changed for later on. There's many classes planned for Valar's release. This is gonna be an MMORPG that's gonna have a healer tank DPS Holy Trinity. We're gonna take a look at this Celestial Path because inside here there is all the classes and also some of them that are available to be played right now in this pre-pre-alpha stage. Now this Celestial Path, there's six in total and each of them, if you click on one, hosts several classes and one or more professions in terms of crafting professions right i'm gonna talk about crafting because it's super important and interesting how they've done it in this mmorpg in a future video yeah now this first celestial right here holds the oracle which is one of the healing classes in the game the sorcerer and the thunder weaver we don't know a lot about thunder weaver and sorcerer as you can see they're also grayed out because at the moment of this video in this pre-alpha test that i'm in right now um, they're not available but the oracle is available and if i and if, and if i click on it you're gonna see that there is at the moment one weapon choice it's something in between a scythe and a staff it's called vumala it's a two-handed weapon that these types of healers use and if you click the weapon you can assign your celestial points that you get by leveling up to this particular profession the way they want to do classes in valar is that you get xp for playing that particular weapon type for that class right and then going back to the um, celestial path here you will have the celestial points to spend on on um, skills if you play those particular skills and those particular skills come from the weapon that you choose right here in the uh, build maker so it's an interesting thing kind of the way that guild wars had it at the beginning or they wanted to have it in which if you play specific weapon types you get levels for that particular profession the more levels for that you get the more um points celestial points you get for that class so you can go deeper into this particular panel obviously as you can imagine this is a pre-alpha version an idea of what they want to do this is going to go you know very very puffy eventually so you will have a lot to select to customize every single class that you want to play in your specific way as i was telling you in some of my previous videos about valar they want to do it in a way in which if you want um let's say a glass cannon kind of warrior then you can do that if you want a, 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 a healer class this for example this oracle healer class um, that is more focused on group healing or on single target healing you can spec in your celestial path um, to your liking yeah so this is this is the basics on um, on how classes work all of them work the same you have to play that specific class with its skills here in order to get xp and to get celestial points to spend in this or sorcerer or thunder weaver right now let's move onwards with uh, other uh, celestials here so we can see what they host the middle celestial this guy that looks like uh, like a tree um, hosts the shaman the shapeshifter the druid the herbalism as a profession and refining also as a um, as a profession yeah next one we have this guy that looks like uh, mercy in uh, this game i forgot its name the shooter game from blizzard we have uh, paladin cleric bard and also as a profession armor making so pretty interesting classes this this one seems to be let's say the hard healers of the game or the support classes of the game or maybe half healer half tank in terms of paladin very interested myself to see what they're gonna do with some of these classes like for example what's gonna be the difference in between a cleric and a paladin is the cleric gonna be a less tankier kind of healer and the paladin a more tank or is it gonna paladin a little bit tanky 
less healy. Very interested myself in, in this, looking forward to more of these uh, alpha tests and further stages of the game. Uh, next one, the fourth celestial heal look, looks pretty badass, some sort of a demon and it hosts obviously these melee um, uh, herder classes. Berserker, warrior, brawler, mining as a profession, weapon making and trapping. So three professions in this particular celestial. Two of these classes are already playable. Warrior, if you click on warrior, uh, this is the tank of the game and it has, um, if you play a warrior, you can spec your points into um, one-handed sword and also you can spec your points into the shield, right? The fifth celestial is something that looks like a gunner, uh, like a hipster kind of gunner and they have the tinkerer as a class, none of these are available, the gunner, the alchemist, engineering as a profession and locksmithing two professions and three subclasses for this celestial and finally the last one is uh, a reaper right uh, fancier kind of looking reaper and it has the occultist the assassin the blood mage and the necromancy as a profession very interesting profession this necromancy not because you can make potions out of it sure you can i'm going to talk about this in another video but um, these elixirs that are not yet available uh, sounded very interesting as i've read about them on their website the description of what necromancy can do sounded super super cool yeah uh, so these are all the celestial the celestials these are all the classes i will want to go through this um panel as well so i can show you they want to call them archetypes right let me just close this background thing uh, they want to call them archetypes instead of classes that's up to them so just for a quick recap we have the oracle you can see right there in the top um, top right corner the oracle the sorcerer the thunder weaver shaman shapeshifter druid paladin cleric bard Berserker, Warrior, Brawler, Tinkerer, Gunner, Alchemist, Assassin, Occultist and Blood Mage. So in total 3, 6, 9, 18 archetypes, 18 classes that remember each of them can wield or not can, each of them do wield a different kind of weapon. For example, if I would, uh, right now I'm playing, I don't even know what I'm playing. Uh, for example, this one right here, I am an occultist and a berserker. So I am an occultist first and the berserker second. And I have a wand as part of the occultist profession can choose a wand or a scythe. Scythe is a two-handed weapon. If I would choose a scythe, my berserker would go away because I don't have another weapon uh, slot available but if since i have a wand i have a berserker with a one-handed axe right so because of this i can choose skills that are part of the berserker class or i can choose skills that are part of the uh, occultist class which makes it for a very interesting combination in between classes you can unlock also uh, passive abilities from one particular path one particular class something that you like maybe there's a passive ability to get lifesteal which actually there is a passive ability to get lifesteal and it is actually in this um occultist so increases lifesteal by one percent per tick so if i want to go a little bit in occultist and just get super nice lifesteal right and then play a full berserker with berserker skills everything comes from the berserker i'm a melee guy but i just have that passive imagine how strong and different and interesting combinations of classes uh, can actually be not to mention that classes in valar at the moment they have envisioned them to wear whatever type of gear they want so you can be a berserker with occultist passives that wears cloth or leather or heavy so this is basically up to you gear types also affect um, your stats your primary stats at the moment of this video but I'm pretty sure that in time gear sets are also gonna have uh, bonuses and it's gonna make for a crazy insane nice way of customizing your um, your classes right I guess this is everything about classes in Valar at the moment of this uh, video I uh, want to keep you updated with the new class releases as long as they're gonna be become available right now there's only a bunch that are available but it's enough for 
as much content as there is now in Valar, which is extremely, extremely little. They are doing some nice thing when almost every month, I think, they are opening the servers for people to see what they've been up to. For example, since the last time I've played myself, and I'm very new to Valar as a game, they have completely changed the way the UI looks. I actually want to talk about it. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're doing stuff on a monthly basis. You can actually see the game growing little by little every month. I wish you guys lots of love. Remember, if you want to support this MMORPG, get behind something that's in development, upcoming, um, and be part of this experience. Give them feedback, maybe help change or shape the way um, this MMORPG is gonna, is gonna look and feel. I have my referral link in the description below. Use that, it takes you to their website. You register, you purchase a pack that shows your support to them. Not all packs give you access to the pre-alpha stage. Some packs give you alpha stage and beyond. Some packs give you pre-alpha, some packs give you beta, etc. Uh, so yeah, it's obviously up to you. It's your money. I wish you lots of love again. I'm going to see you soon. Stay safe and take it easy.